What's up, YouTube? You know what time it is. It's my fan time, and this is a uh, this is a reply to um, to Murph's challenge, which was um, you know basically if you could pick two you know two sports to collect jerseys from, what would they be? And um, it was a it was a very interesting challenge because you know it it's always hard to you know, just pick and choose between certain jerseys, let alone, um, you know, certain sports. But um, I did some thinking on it, and um, the two sports that I concluded that if I were to do this, what I would do would be would be NFL football, because I love those uh, heat pressed on name and number jerseys, as you you all know. Um, and it was a real toss-up for me because I love collecting baseball jerseys. But at this point, I'm pretty happy with what I've been able to collect. I mean, you guys know that I love to collect the pullover, you know, jerseys from the uh, 70s and, I guess, late 80s. Um, and, of course, the road gray baseball jerseys. But I'm pretty happy with how the collection is to this point. And... Uh, there are still some jerseys that I'd like to get, but um, one of the aspects of my collection that I'm still trying to grow up, grow uh, to uh, would be the NBA collection. And I've made a lot of strides in that the last in recent years. Um, but I'm still, you know, looking for other jerseys and and uh, you know I grew up on the NBA. I grew up, you know, uh, watching. The 1990s basketball and you know that was my first real love of a sport so I I would have to go with the NBA throwbacks too um, so it would it would be NFL and NBA for me if I were to only pick two sports um, uh, just because I've always liked football jerseys and I've always liked basketball um, jerseys also and of course you know like I said that was my first real love of a sport so I would probably go with basketball uh, jerseys and yeah I know after seeing the uh, the uh, NBA vault video you guys are like you don't have enough basketball jerseys <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm still I'm, I'm still trying to build upon that I'm there, there's still some you know teams and some jerseys I'd like to get of those teams and you know we'll see what happens um, but yeah I would like to still build on that on what I've been able to do to this point I'd like to keep building on it and uh, like I said, NFL football because I love those heat pressed on name and number jerseys. Those are some of my, some of my absolute favorites in any jersey. Um, and with all due respect to baseball and hockey, because I mean I love collecting them too. I mean hockey's definitely something I'd like to keep building on too. It's been a while since I really added to my uh, um, NHL hockey collection. I think the last hockey jersey that I got for throwback was that Ron Hextall jersey uh, a couple Black Fridays ago. Um, uh, well, actually, um, my dad got me a Tamu Solani, uh, Winnipeg Jets jersey last year for Christmas. That, that was the last, uh, that was the last, um, throwback hockey jersey that I, that I, that I got now that I'm thinking of it. So, yeah, it's been, it's been almost a year since I, since I got one. But, um, but anyhow, Murph, uh, long story sh short, um, that's my reply to your challenge. It was a great challenge by you. As always, a big shout out to all of my, uh, uh, fellow uh, Jersey heads out there, um, to the um, including the uh, the guys on the um, Kings of Throwback group on Facebook. Um, a big shout, of course, as always, to all my subscribers. Uh, thank you all so much. You know, for subscribing to my channel, it always means a lot to get the feedback and the faves and such. Um, from all of you, so you know, big shouts to all of you, to all my family, friends, fellow DeviantArt members. Uh, goodness, anyone I'm forgetting, a big shout out to everyone. Happy holidays, everyone. Hope it's a great holiday season for all of you. I got my holiday Phillies hat on, so I <laughs> uh, was kind of disappointed that Hamilton went to the Angels, but you know, what can you do? I, I, I don't know if it, you know, I'm kind of glad the Phillies didn't give him five years, I think that was a little much, but hey, you know what? Those, those TV contracts must be great. <laughs> I mean, the Angels the last few years, my goodness. <laughs> Throwing money around left and right. <laughs> but um, 
but anyhow, that should be some lineup with uh, one of the local guys, uh, uh, Mike Trout, uh, on, on the Angels, the the reigning uh, AL Rookie of the Year. So, so good good going for a local guy here. Um, but anyhow, as as always, uh, a big shout out to everyone. Happy holidays, everyone. Um, thoughts and prayers, of course, go out to the families who lost um, uh, their children in that horrific tragedy um, in Connecticut. It was just awful. Um, just can't imagine someone would do that, but you know, it's uh, it, it's really um, it's really really bad and a shame uh, that that had to happen. But uh, yeah, thoughts and prayers go out to to, to all those family members um, as well. And like I said, as always, a big shout out to everyone, and uh, I will see you in that next video. All right, it's my fan saying peace. I'll see you then. Bye.